Hello friends, in this video we will talk about calyx and the terms that are used for different types, shape and modification of calyx. So what is calyx? So we know that flower have four different words. So calyx is outer whorl of flower. It is outer whorl of flower and it consists of green colored units. And these units singly they are called sepal and all the sepals of a flower is Calyx. So, what is the function of calyx? It protects plant when plant, uh, sorry, it protects flower when flower is in bud condition. So, these sepals that are unit of calyx, these sepals may be free like this. They may be free or they may be fused. If they are free, then these free sepals will be called polysepalous. Term used for free sepals will be polysepalous. But when they are fused like this, the term used for fused petals will be gamosepalous. So polysepalous free sepals, gamosepalous, fused sepals. So normally the function of calyx is to protect flower in a bud condition. When flower blossom, when flower opens, normally they will fall off. Their function is over, they will fall off. So on the basis of timing of their falling, they are of three types. First is caducus. Sepals falls before fertilization or you can say that before maturity when sepals falls before maturity before fertilization it will be called caducus for example poppy plant when sepals falls after fertilization after maturity or you can say that after maturity then the term used for sepals is deciduous caducus before maturity before fertilization deciduous after fertilization Next is persistent when sepals don't fall, they remain till the formation of fruit. You have seen in uh, fruit like tomato and brinjal, the green colored units are present like this. So these are persistent sepals or persistent calyx. Sometimes sepal becomes colored like petal. In this case, it is called petaloid. Peppers. Here, the peppers term used for calyx that modifies into hairs. When calyx modifies into hair like structure for example in astraci family sunflower here calyx modifies into hair like structure so this is a seed here on that seed calyx modifies itself 
here like like this and it will help into seed dispersal so this type of modification is called pappus spinous when calyx modifies into spine like structure modified modifies into spines like this here these are calyx and these calyx modifies themselves into spines so this type of calyx is called spinous calyx sometimes calyx becomes leaf like so example of this spinous calyx is trap sometime calyx become leaf like like this become broad it become broad and leaf like so this type of calyx will be called leafy calyx so this type of calyx is found in musenda bilabiate calyx when calyx are lipped it is bilabiate means it have two lips like this like this so here will be petal so it becomes like a two lips one lower lip and this one is upper lip so it becomes bilabiate so this type of calyx is found in osimum tulsi so vehen calyx have two lips it will be called bilabiate